I can't believe I'm saying this already, but it's Christmas time. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Faith. And welcome to Refresh, where we love to produce content that will refresh your spirit, refresh your mind, and refresh your vision. Well, Christmas 2020 is finally upon us. Can you believe it? No, I can't. And I absolutely love Christmas. I love True. everything about Christmas. I love the uh, parties and the shopping and the food and the lights. I love looking at light, bright lights around the town. Of course, for me, the food is the big thing. I, I love all the food that we have at Christmas, and uh, that's kind of my favorite thing. I love, my favorite thing is buying gifts. Yes. I love buying gifts for my grandchildren. I love buying gifts for my kids and friends, and that's just my, my thing. Gifts are my love language, so mm -hmm. that's my favorite thing. And, uh, you know, this can be a very busy time as well. Mm -hmm. And especially if you have yeah. a family, uh, it can be one of the busiest times of the year. And you can get really distracted from what the true meaning of Christmas actually is. And, you know, for us, we found a few years ago something that really helped us to focus as a family on what Christmas is all about. Yeah, we got a gift from my brother and sister-in-law, Doug and Jenny. Yeah. We bought, they gave us a book called Jotham's journey and that was amazing that was one of the best gifts that us as a family could have received and what I really like about it is it's divided up for all the days every day from the beginning of Advent mm -hmm. right till Christmas Day so you've got a little bit of a story about this this young boy named Jotham and you've got a scripture verse that goes along with it and we would just mm -hmm. kind of sit around either in yeah. the living room or around the table with a glass of eggnog for yeah. those who like it uh, and, <laughs> uh, the, the, and and just kind of enjoy that time just kind of reading through it and it culminates on Christmas Day uh, with the Christmas story kind of woven into the, the tale mm -hmm. of Jotham. Yeah, it's really cool. And over the next few years, there were two other books written, right? That's right. There was, Bartholomew's Passage right. and Tabitha's Travels. And right? I think he's written another couple since we we, yeah, we started I buying so. them. Yeah, I think so. I haven't, we haven't gotten the last one. But uh, yeah, and even our adult kids now read them to their kids. That's how special this was for our family. It really helped us to focus as a family mm -hmm. on what was really important. Yeah. We found that taking that month before Christmas to focus yeah. just a few minutes every day on what God has done for us made such a mm -hmm. big difference in keeping us grounded in the hope uh, as a family and also looking forward to celebrating that hope yeah. uh, on Christmas Day. And I think that's about all really that yeah. we want to just share for this time. So until next time, keep looking upwards, keep moving onwards, and we will see you in the next video.